Oh my gosh. I know I look a hot mess right now, but the craziest thing just happened to me a few minutes ago. Um, I had made some shoes for someone and I was going to go to the post office so I could deliver them and um, have my little nephew with me. He's three. And I'm trying to hurry up and shoo him out of the house. He wants to grab all these books and toys and stuff and I'm trying to hurry up and get him out of the house while I'm talking on the phone to my brother with my brother and as a result I ended up walking out of the house without my keys so we're locked out of the house I'm sitting in this very spot with him call my boyfriend let him know what's going on so he can come and you know let us in the house so anyway I'm sitting here for about 30 minutes called him and to see where he was and he said he was stuck in traffic that doesn't answer where he was but whatever he's stuck in traffic so um, while I'm sitting here one of my neighbors who happens to be a Jehovah's Witness came up to talk to me now most people uh, run or avoid Jehovah's Witnesses <laughs> when they come to their door but I don't this lady is actually a very sweet person she's funny she's smart we you know have actually become pretty good friends over the past two years and it seems like every time I go through something this woman pops up two weeks ago I was out in the yard um, I decided I was gonna fix my own car replace my radiator and I had taken it out and whatnot and I was about to walk to the auto port auto part star store Ugh, I can't talk to get another radiator and she came up just in time and she offered to take me to the store to get my radiator and the other parts and stuff so I thought that was cool so today she walked up right after we got locked out of the house okay the, car, the door was locked just like this right I had tried several times I even tried to use my um, one of my cards to let me in because I you know I have the, the bolt lock up there but the bolt lock wasn't locked. It was just the bottom lock. So here's my, this is my, uh, one of my credit cards I tried to use to get in the house and that didn't work. Um, and I tried it twice and I didn't want to break my card or whatever. So I just stopped and I was like, forget it. It's a nice day outside. We can just wait for my boyfriend to come with the other key. So I, my Jehovah's Witness friend came up with her sister and I told her what happened. She starts looking around at the windows and stuff. She said, girl, I'm going into break-in mode. And I said, no, I've, all my windows are locked and you can't, <laughs> you can't get in or whatever. And um, I said, well, my boyfriend's on the way. And she was like, okay, well, that's good. So I told her, I said, well, Quincy said that, uh, I said, Quincy even offered to let me in. He was like, auntie, I can help you get in the house. And I'm like, yeah, right. And I, t I looked at him and I said, um, I said, Quincy, you, you gonna help Auntie get in the house? And he was like, yeah, I'm gonna open the door for you, Auntie. And I said, boy, if you open this door, we're going on Steve Harvey or The Ellen Show or something today. And this boy turned around and opened this door. I don't know how he did it. I didn't hear the no I didn't hear the, I didn't hear it. Um, I didn't hear it, um, the, I didn't hear the door turn or anything. Look at that, it's locked now. Door is freaking locked. This is what I was doing earlier, trying to open the door, and somehow this boy just opened the door. And I was so in shock, look at him. Say hi, Quincy. Hey. I was so in shock that I fainted on the front porch. Thank you, Booboo. I fainted on the front porch and my friend tried to catch me and in the process she broke her toenail in half. I got all scratched up and stuff and I was just in shock. I was shaking and everything and I turned around and looked and he's standing in the door like, come on auntie, you know, like the door is open. And I was like, how did you do that? And I turned the knob while the door was open and it was still locked. And I don't know what, I, uh, I'm, I'm still in shock about what happened. 
And what's ironic about the whole thing is that <clears throat> a lot of people don't know this, but when he was born, he had a congenital um, birth defect that caused his knees to go to be bent in the opposite direction. So his knees were like elbows <laughs> and his feet were what come up to his shoulders when, you know, when he was at rest. We had to straighten his legs out. He ended up having to wear casts on his legs for like, I think they changed the cast like every two or three weeks until he was like five or six months old. And you can't even tell that he had any type of surgery or, or any type of issues or whatever. The boy runs around like it's nothing now. Don't you, Quincy? Yeah. You like to run? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, um, I had just told my boyfriend last night uh, that story about how his legs were born, how his legs were when he was born. And I told him, I was like, Quincy's special, you know? He's, he's, I think that he's gonna be a great, person one day like he has a gift and then turn around and today he lets me in the house you let me in the house Quincy yeah how did you open that door I opened it how did you do that and I said ah! like how, that. but the door was locked okay. but how did you get it to open if it was locked how did you do that You do it for a few weeks? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all because I was in shock. Like, I couldn't even talk for like two minutes. And I was shaking. And like I said, I, I fell on the porch. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Quincy. Bye.